Hello, hello. I'm going to be showing you how to be building a professional styled haunted gallows for Halloween. It's about 12 feet high, about 18 feet long, and it's super freaking awesome. Okay, so these are the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need 36 2x4s at 6 feet long, 8 2x4s at 5 feet long, 4 4x4s at 12 feet long, and 1 2x4 at 18 feet long. Some other things that you'll be needing are lots of nails and screws, um, two screw eyes, paint, uh, any color you wish. Um, I chose black. You don't have to color it if you don't want to. It looks cool either way. Um, some dummies, lots of skeletons, um, and some spider web to jazz it all up and make it look funky. So it doesn't take too long to build. It only takes about two full days to build, and you'll probably need. Um, a hand or two for help. So let me show you how this thing's made. Now when you go get your wood, make sure that everything is not warped. Each board is going to look straight on or it's going to look crooked. The first one wasn't good, but the second one, yep, if it looks like that, then that's what you want. Now, short of cutting down a tree, the places you're going to find things like this would be at Lowe's or Menards or your local lumber yard if you have one. They're super cheap and they're great and easy to buy. Now, while you're there, make sure you pick up three panels of OSB board, which is basically just a wooden panel for you to step on and make a performance of. The thicker they are, the more they cost. Now if you don't plan on standing on it, just go ahead and get yourself some styrofoam OSB and you paint it the same color as you do everything else and nobody will tell a difference. It'll save you some dollars. Now take four of your six foot two by fours and nail them together in a square pattern, one end next to the other. Make sure you do this three times. After that, gather up four of your 5 foot 2 by 4s and nail them to one of your squared frames at each corner so that it kind of looks like a big table. Now I already had my upper framework taken care of. It's basically just another square frame with four more 2 by 4s inside of it every 16 inches just like on a tape measure. Then you put the OSB on top of it with a hole inside the middle and then you nail it together and after you make three of those, put one of them in front of your 5 foot 2 by 4, lift it up, and then nail it together. Now get 10 of your 6 foot 2 by 4s and get a miter saw or a jigsaw and cut 45 degree angles on each end reverse styled and then put them on each side of the framework. This will be used for stability and just in case you want to stand on top of it and make a performance for your own safety. Now grab 2 of your 12 foot 4 by 4s and mark at 5 feet on each board and then grab your lower frame and nail it to the bottom and then grab your top upper frame and put it right beneath the five foot marker and then nail it to that part.
Now take two of your 5 foot 2x4s and nail them to the remaining ends of your framework. Complete the same sequence with the two 4x4s and the upper and lower framework with the cross bracing until you have three completed frameworks, two laying on their sides and one standing up. Have a friend help you pick the other ones up until you have three complete panels and frameworks laying one next to the other. Now take the two remaining 6 foot 2 by 4s and nail them to the 12 foot 4 by 4s on each end. Now take your drill and drill two shallow holes in the 18 foot 2 by 4 marked precisely where the holes of the upper framework are where your bodies will be hanging. Then screw with your hand the screw eyes into those holes. They should be fairly easy to go in and you don't want them to be too deep so that if anybody tries to be stupid and tries to hang from it it'll just fall right out. It's a matter of safety. Now all you need to do is nail your 18 foot 2x4 to your cross bracing if you happen to have any length problems, just grab some of your spare wood that's been cut and nail it to your cross bracing and that should fix the problem. Alright, now let's have some fun and make this gallows really pop. Let's grab some of that black paint and start to paint the surface of this thing. Just make sure you get the surface exterior. You don't have to worry about the back or the inside of it too much. Most of that will be covering up with black landscape fabric anyways. So just get what people will be seeing mostly. One gallon should be enough. Black paint, white paint, whatever you want to do is fine. Now it's time to put on our noose. Just go on YouTube and look up a how to build a noose video. It's pretty generic and simple. But make sure that you don't build it completely correct. Make sure you always put in knots in various intervals of it so that when it's being pulled down upon, it doesn't tighten. It's for safety purposes. After that, make sure you cut it and then put on a second line and put it down to the base so it looks like it's being tied straight. Now find yourself some skeleton parts and some spider web and creep out the thing a little bit. Decorate it to your own design and try to spook your neighbors. After that, make yourself some dummies. Find some old clothes and fill it up with newspaper or leaves or what have you. Then pick them up and put them on the noose and watch your neighbors freak out. Now that we've finished the construction of this professional styled haunted gallows, let's put some effects into the feature. Find yourself a fog machine and a floodlight. Dark or bright colors work the best. I used red. And turn on the fog machine and watch the night light up. Kids will be flooding the street so you better make sure you have a lot of candy because you will officially have the coolest house on the block.